Welcome back guys for another tutorial from Sketch. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial how to create this cute vector from beginning to end. So this time around, I'm working on this character, Chopper, based on sketch that I found on Pinterest. First, let's create a new document at 1080 by 1080 pixel. Then we need to place our sketch as a reference by pressing Ctrl Shift P on your keyboard. You can either saturate it as me or place it anywhere you want. Now we need to double click on this layer to check on the template option. This will automatically reduce the opacity to 50% and lock it. So we can clearly see any paths we draw over it. I like to use the curvature tool to draw the outlines, but if you enjoy using the pen tool, go ahead and pick it and start drawing with us. Now we need to create a new layer for the outline. I'm sorry for the name, it had to be named outline, but yeah, we have two template layers now. As you can see, I started from the bottom with three points of thickness and a black stroke. I'll speed up for now. To round off the ends, let's select everything, then press on the stroke panel and choose round caps and corners. Now we need to activate the shape builder to clean up these lines just by pressing Alt key. Here I wanted to be sure that all the lines have the same thickness, so I selected everything to give them a three point of thickness.
The eyebrows are thinner, so I'll give them a 2 point by pressing on the stroke weight. To variate the thickness of the stroke, let's activate the width tool and just click and drag the anchor point to expand the stroke. In my mind, these little lines need to be more smaller, so I gave them a 1.5 of thickness. Now let's create a rectangle and as previously activate the shape builder to delete the lines out of the artboard. Before doing the coloration, we need to separate the details from the outline just by creating a new layer, then select them and drag this little red square into the details layer. Once again, we need to activate the width tool to give a nice appealing look to our character. I'll complete the drawing. Let's create the coloration. Create two new layers, one for the colors and the second for the background. We'll lock it for now. To duplicate and move the outline, keep pressing on Alt key while dragging this little red square into the color layer and lock everything except the color layer. Click on the object menu on the top, Path, Outline Stroke. Then merge all the shapes together. Now release Compound Path to turn them into black and ungroup them by right clicking on your mouse. Delete this rectangle and start coloring using the eyedropper tool. It's important to prepare your color palette before starting this step. Here, as you can see, I sent to back the big shape to bring in front the smaller ones. The third and the final step, let's do some highlights and shadows to our character. Do a copy and paste in front double time, then move the top one and select these two shapes. Now bring up the shape builder and hold Alt key to delete these unnecessary shapes. To represent the shadows, select this shape and give it a dark pink, then reduce its opacity. Let's repeat these steps to create all the shadows and highlights.
click the subscribe button if you are new around here and want to learn more about Adobe Illustrator. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the section below.